Bing is now recording. All right. Good afternoon, uh, Ms. Cleveland. Thank you for pulling this together. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Dowry, and I am the receiver for the city of Chester. Thank you for joining us here today for the Municipal Financial Recovery Advisory Committee meeting on Tuesday, December 22nd at 1 p.m. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order and start with uh, first order of business being roll call. Uh, the advisory committee members here in attendance with us, we have Director Bracey of DCD, uh, appointed by the governor. We have Mayor Kirkland, uh, city of Chester, obviously. And we have Kelly Diaz, uh, appointed by the Delaware County Council. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, absent excused here today is Councilman Jacobs. So our first, uh, well, let me start with stating our purpose. The Municipal Financial Recovery Advisory Committee is established to meet and consult with the receiver in carrying out the duties under this chapter of Act 47. The sole function of the advisory committee shall be to provide recommendations and feedback to the receiver on the implementation of the recovery plan. The composition includes the chief executive officer of the distressed municipality, the president of the governing body of the distressed municipality or their designee, one member appointed by the county commissioners of the county where the distressed municipality is located, and one member appointed by the governor. The committee members do not receive any compensation, and we meet at least twice per month to discuss the recovery plan. Here in Chester, we've adopted a bi-weekly meeting schedule of the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. Meetings of the advisory committee shall be in accordance with the Sunshine Act of Open Records. Uh, duty to consult. The receiver has the duty to consult the advisory committee prior to exercising any of the powers under Section 706A, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. And the committee shall terminate in conjunction with the expiration of the receivership as provided for under Section 710. So with that, moving into our second uh, order of business is to approve the minutes from the December 8th meeting. Uh, those minutes were distributed to the full committee uh, prior to this meeting. Does anyone have any questions or concerns uh, or edits to the December 8th meeting minutes? Hearing none, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve. So moved. We have uh, a move by Mayor Kirkland and a second by Kelly Diaz, I believe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she stole your thunder, Dr. Bracey. Sorry. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye or raise up your hand. Aye. aye. Opposed, have the same right. Hearing none, motion carries. Minutes are approved. Our next matter of uh, business, I will combine the status of the receiver's recovery plan along with the receiver update and ask that our chief of staff here, VJ Kapoor, provide an update to the, to the committee. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm VJ Kapoor, the chief of staff to the, to the receiver. Uh, I have a short update here in terms of, of the recovery plan and the update. Uh, what, uh, what has been taking a fair amount of time, both on the receiver's end as well as the city's end, is, is working on the 2021 budget, uh, which, which we hope to have approved uh, by, the, uh, by the end of next week. So there have been discussions over the past couple of weeks uh, over that budget, and um, uh, those continue to, uh, to, to take up a fair amount of time of, uh, of both the city as well as the receiver. Uh, what, what I'll also say, too, is moving into next year uh, in January, there, there's going to be a fair amount uh, on, the, on the receiver's plate. Uh, uh, there has the, uh, the Teamsters contract uh, needs to be uh, renegotiated uh, next year, uh, and there are a couple of other uh, workforce-related initiatives uh, and, and workforce uh, 
uh, items uh, that the, the receivers team will start to uh, to turn their uh, to turn their attention to uh, beginning in beginning in January. But as I said, the primary focus here has really been uh, over the past couple of weeks on the budget. Thank you for that, VJ. Um, you know, again, uh, speaking on my behalf as well. Thank you for that. I'd like to turn it over to the rest of the committee if there were any comments of the committee before getting into public comment. Does anyone have anything they'd like to share? Just an um, observation or question, Mr. Receiver. Um, realizing we are advisory, we're advisory, um, and the often, how often we're meeting, if, if there are specific tasks that um, I can do, any one of us can do, I, I, I guess I want to feel more involved, I guess. It's been feeling more like a formality. And if it's to be that, which is fine, um, do you have to have them twice a month? If there are opportunities for us to be more engaged or provide um, feedback from wherever, um, direction from you or BJ is welcome. Thank you. Certainly uh, appreciate it. And, and so to answer your question, Director Bracey, under Act 47, the, the, the committee is supposed to meet twice a month. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is a requirement, uh, at least as, 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 as we read Act 47. But certainly, um, I mean, I will, I will offer myself to, to you know, the, the committee members the extent there's there's things that you all want to talk about, or there's issues, or there's anything that you want um, more information on, uh, please don't hesitate to to reach out uh, to us. And and I think there's certainly there's there's going to be ways of of being able to you know to utilize the expertise that that we have on this uh, on this committee. Thank you. Just want to be helpful. Yes, ma'am. But mindful of your time as well. Sure. Mayor Kirkland or Kelly? No. All right. So then the next section on our agenda our the next section on our agenda is to transition into By the way, you can now ask another question without having to first say Alexa. Enable this feature by saying turn on follow up mode. Uh I, I must have used the word uh the A word uh, uh I won't say it completely because the uh She's liable to come back on again, but I have uh, some automated help here. Uh, if I say Alexa, maybe she doesn't pick up on that. Uh, so my apologies for that. The next section on the agenda is the public comment period. And uh, to that end, uh, we did receive uh, quite a bit uh, of, of public comment since the last meeting. Um, we received 25 comments in all that were distributed to the advisory committee members. Uh, 24 of those comments pertain to monetization of the Chester Water Authority. Uh, again, that's not a primary focus of uh, this receivership, uh, not a primary focus of mine. Uh, that remains in litigation and will likely be in litigation for quite some time. Uh, so we are, are focused on, on other aspects of the recovery plan as we, as we continue to press forward. Uh, but we do want to acknowledge those 24 comments. They have been shared with the advisory committee, and uh, and um, and thank you for that. The we did receive one additional comment um, that uh, pertained to uh, responding to the COVID pandemic and the city's uh, our response to that. And the the second part of that comment pertained to uh, salaries for elected officials. Uh, again, those items have been shared with the advisory committee. We appreciate your comments and uh, keep those lines of communication open and, and really want to continue to receive those comments moving forward. Thank you all. Uh, to the committee, was there uh, any any response or any anything in the public comment that the committee wanted to respond to? Thank you for that. So moving forward, uh, actually the last item we have is adjournment, but before we do, is there any, anything, um, anything from the committee that anyone would like to address? Just want to, just want to, um, Mr. Chair, just want to wish everyone a safe and Merry Christmas. 
Thank you, Mayor Kirkland, and I, I will echo those sentiments. Uh, happy holidays to you all. Uh, stay safe, stay warm, and um, thank you. This meeting is adjourned. Merry Christmas all. Thank you.